from breaking my collarbone to filming a world record, I've had some pretty wicked days in my life. Oh, no way! No way! What? But nothing comes close to this. Do you see? Do you see? You're looking at the official Steve Steve Gilson pro model. Funny just saying that makes... Oh man, crazy. She's cute, man. As of right now, you guys are able to purchase these skis for yourself on the official Gilson website. Yeah, it's nuts. I'll leave a link to that website in the description below, but we are only ever gonna make 50 pairs of these skis. There will only ever be 50 Steve Steve Pro models in existence. So if you guys do wanna cop one, make sure you act fast, because supplies are really limited. When you think back to it, this whole journey started five years ago when I broke my L5 for the second time and my doctor prescribed me this oasis for months on end. But I remember my mother walking through my door one day and saying, Nick, I found a game called Steep. And weirdly enough, that was the exact moment my life would change forever. Not only was I able to stay somewhat connected with skiing, even though it was through a virtual setting, but that game also enabled me to share my passion for skiing through the power of the internet. Honey, Steve Steep was bored. During my two year recovery, I ended up posting hundreds of videos on this ski video game. Not only did Steep keep me sane through some really bummy times, but it also allowed me to cultivate a community that shared that exact same passion for skiing and gaming. I'm talking about you, you little sweetheart. Eventually my spine stopped throwing a hissy fit and I was able to strap on the skis once again. If your doctor ever says you can't go back to doing something, feel free to refer him to this video. While Steep would go on and continue to be a big part of the channel, being able to ski again sparked a whole new chapter. I started posting more real life ski vlogs and unofficially started training to become a sports broadcaster by posting my reaction to Winter X Games events. Colby Stevenson was the gold medalist at X Games Aspen. Oh, hmm. <gasps> and wildly enough, this transitioned to a place where the skiers themselves actually reached out for me to commentate their new video parts. Dude, having athletes like Henrik Carlo and groups like Level 1 and Freeride World Tour reach out for these kinds of videos blew my cerebellum to bits, and it still does. Moving forward, these videos somehow caught the attention of the mainline ski industry, and I ended up getting sponsored by one of the raddest ski companies in the entire industry. Gilson, dude, I love ya. Everything just started to blow up, I guess you could say. I got an invitation to fly out to Switzerland and ski the nines. Man, this trip was insane. Not only did I get to hit the biggest jump I've ever hit in my entire life, but I also got to fist bump, film, and flip over some of the professional skiers I've been watching ever since I came out of the womb. And to top it all off, Red Bull Snow logged me into their official Instagram page and let me run their Instagram stories for a day. Even though that might sound small, that was that was wild. Dude, like I, like I said, four years ago at that point, I, I was there, bedridden, no idea what was gonna happen with my life. Apparently Red Bull was very happy with the Instagram takeover, so they flew me out to Sweden to film Jesper Shader stomp the world record for the longest rail slide. Next, I get the phone call. Yo, what up? It's Pennsylvania. Come out to the Gilson warehouse. We're gonna make you a pro model ski. I shed a couple tears that day. With a smile on my face, I packed my bags and flew to Philadelphia. Before designing the skis, I was also given the opportunity to host and commentate the Gilson Summer Rail Jam. This event was an absolute blast. Snow, asphalt, beer, plus it was technically my first ever in-person quote-unquote professional commentary gig. I think I ended up doing okay. I mean, nobody kicked me off the mic. The number 62 coming into that apron feature. Oh! Also got a chance to take a few laps at Big Snow. Wonky, we're having a good time, buddy. Then the design process started. I don't know if that's too much. 
Like when it comes to design, I'm absolutely abysmal. So don't like take any of my advice. This is almost the finished prototype here. You got all the colors from the Steve Soup Dog posted up, trying to figure out some badging to get on there as well. Mastermind over here, Cole. Dude, thank you. What are you feeling? Do you like? I mean, it's my graphic. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's perfect. Josh, you feeling it? It's looking spicy. Yeah, spicy little zesty on top too. Yeah, it looks crazy. With the head honcho's approval gained, we moved operations to the factory. Stay safety first, gloves gotta go on, gotta stay sanitary. Vince is gonna help show us around what to actually do. Cause I have no idea what I'm doing. I just use the skis, man, so we're off and away. Is this good? Perfect. Is that too quick? No, keep going. Okay. All right, stop right oh yeah. Oh yeah, get down and dirty. There's the first squeeze. You gotta get into all these little nooks and crannies, apparently. I think I'm doing it. You have to go like, wax on, wax off type of move. No, just try to keep the sun on there. You don't want to completely dry. Right. Yeah, you don't have to press hard. You can kind of more just like loosely, yeah, loosely, loosely do it. Off she goes into the hot bath. Oh. Number eight. Fast forward a few weeks later, and I pick up the greatest package I will ever receive in my lifetime. Yelson, honey, thank you. Wait, I think they might be. Oh. <gasps> I now have my own pro model, like yo. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Steve Gilson, honey. Starting the channel with a, a steep gameplay video five years ago. To having my own pair of skis, I'm shaking. <sighs> Dude, I'm so, it's, it's unbelievable. Now these skis are exactly the same as the Gilson Fusions I rode all of last season. Obviously, except for that sweet looking custom limited graphic. So that means you'll be able to experience that same lightweight performance and long lasting durability the Gilson Fusion's known for. The ski also comes with that same soft edge technology on the noses and tails. You can think of soft edge as a butter pad for your skis. It elevates your noses and tails away from your edge. That way when you go for a butter, you won't catch an edge. <laughs> it's made of a dense poplar hardwood core that gives it extra durability, but not at the expense of weight. It's still the lightest ski I've ever written and I've written a lot of skis. <laughs> but with all that marketing nonsense thrown to the side, I do not compromise on gear. My life now, the how I make a living is based on skiing and biking. My gear <gasps> needs to perform and I do not compromise to make bucks. I won't do it. I want to have a good time on the hill. So when Gilson did reach out a year ago and said, hey, do you want to ride our skis? Again, I was very nervous. I've been riding Owen 3P for a few years. I absolutely love that ski to death. So to have me transfer over to an entirely different ski was, it was, it was kind of terrifying. But to much of my surprise, the fusions I rode all of last season were an absolute blast. The Gilson Fusion is by far the lightest and poppiest ski I've ever ridden. It makes for easy rail skiing and sending big air stunts to breeze. Oh, held the feet that time. That's a good sign. One more. Oh. <laughs> However, if you're looking for a ski that's mainly gonna be used for big backcountry lines and massive pillow powder hits, this is not gonna be the one for you. But that doesn't mean you can't use this ski to blast down the mountain. I've reached probably Mach 14 on these. <laughs> Again, we're only ever gonna make 50 pairs of this ski. So if there still is stock left, you guys can go ahead, hit the link in the description below and pick a pair up for the upcoming ski season. And I gotta finish off the video with the biggest thank you. All of this jazz, this story, that was outlined in this video, all of that was made possible because of you. Because you watching on your little phone, maybe an iPad, maybe even a big screen TV, I don't recommend it, my content isn't that good, but for whatever reason, you continue to watch and support me and I cannot thank you enough. And obviously Gilson, thank you so much for making this a reality. This is the biggest dream come true for me and I, I can't thank you guys enough. That is our pro model ski right there, Rubber Ducky. Boys know I love you and you know the good. Good Lord. Good Lord, man. The good Lord upstairs, buddy. He loves you, okay? We'll see you in the next one.